From the central newsroom, it's more than a year since the Midlands Council announced plans to close the best performing non-faith school in the city to make way for a new academy as part of a merger. At the time, the plans were met with huge opposition from pupils, parents and teachers. Today, another protest against that decision was held, as Katie Fawcett reports. Going the extra mile so that in the future they won't have to. Hundreds of parents, grandparents and pupils, present and future, walked the four-mile stretch that some students will have to take if Trentham closes to make way for a new academy. We can't have the kids walking this ridiculous distance. It's going to be a real slog for them every morning, as we're seeing today. I really care about um, what's going to happen to my brother um, because he's going to be at the school um, for a few years after me. One driving force behind the government's creation of academies is to break a culture of low aspiration in certain communities. But Trentham is the highest scoring non-faith school in the area and many say help isn't needed here. Academies in the right, in the right social area are fantastic for helping deprived children do better. But Trentham and Blurton are not deprived areas and they should not have to be forced into an academy which is going to have 1,200 pupils and be very impersonal. Members of Stoke City Council were invited today but none could attend. The elected Mayor Mark Meredith has issued a statement in it he says I'm aware there is a minority in this city who wish to derail our plans to the detriment of the majority. But I wish to assure every family that my colleagues and I will maintain our momentum of this programme. It's a statement that the protesters strongly dispute. There are over 1,300 people are against these proposals and I can tell you exactly how many people are for them. Zero. The consultation process has been extended, but plans for opening the new academy have been brought forward to next year. Katie Fawcett in Stoke-on-Trent for Central News.